I'm dead. I hear Twinkie. Literally. Okay. Got my phone ready to do chat moments. I do have to charge it though. So I tried to tell you guys when I was coming on. I tried my best. Um, hi Natalia. Hello B, Garlic Bread, JC, Moldy Pot, Crazy for Coffee, Hannah W. How are you guys doing? Um, Kennedy. Oh shit, you're here. You look so pretty. I love that TikTok. I've I actually did that TikTok. Um, but hello, Amanda, Jennifer, Dixie, Mari Gold. How are you guys doing? Today's been a roller coaster of a day for me. Um, if it looks like I've been crying, it's because I have. That's on that. Um No, Becky's not here. Nope. Um, Amberlynn, I've missed you. How have you been? I'm doing okay, I guess. Um, just kind of got some bad news today, so it's been kind of hard for me, to be honest. But I'm doing okay. I'm out for a fancy steak dinner. Got to put my phone away. Enjoy that dinner, please. No, the smoothie wasn't that bad. I'm just very like weird with texture and smoothie texture always like gets me like weirded out. So, um, I do wanna make more TikToks for sure. It's just, I don't know. I don't really know what to TikTok, if you will. I love you, Amber. I love watching your videos. I look forward to you every day. Wish you the best. Thank you, B. I appreciate that so much. What's your shirt say? It just says strawberry. Right there. Strawberry. Mm, what's the bad news? Um... <sighs> Mm, okay, usually I say I don't want to talk about it and people get mad at me, but I just think it's fair to just say um, my dad's in the hospital, critical condition. I don't want to like go like into details of obviously what's wrong with him uh, before anyone assumes. No, it's not COVID. Um, but yeah, it's, I don't know, it's just been really hard so it's okay Brittany Lynn uh, Dom welcome to stream Queens um, does being upset have anything to do with wifey no um, it's okay Liliana it's okay Austin I just figured I'd let you guys know because I do look a little, like, I cried off my makeup, like, and I just threw it on again real quickly. I mean, I still had it on, but it was, like, smudgy and weird looking. So, if I look a little down, because I know people like to point out, you know, when I look down and stuff. So, that's why. Um, I'm just hoping for the best. And, yeah. Are you going to see your dad? I really want to but I just I don't think it's possible so I'm so sorry I lost my dad at 17 it's tough you'll be okay I'm really sorry to hear that um you and your dad weren't very close right probably brought up a lot of old memories we're not close in the aspect of like talking all the time at all but I love him very very much and whenever he does talk to me like it's always just like, I'm sorry for the past. I love you so much. I miss you. I'm proud of you. Like, there's nothing, like, bad between me and him at all. Like, he means the world to me. And, um, I don't know. 
it's just hard. You look amazing, don't worry. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, thinking of you, queen, I love you, keep your head up. Thanks, I appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Did you and Becky fight today? No. Even if you're not close, losing a parent is always hard. Yeah. Like, I can't imagine this world without my dad in it. Like, that sounds crazy to even think about it. Oh, Princess Angel, you're a squirrel. Love that. What's Becky up to? She's at Eric and Ricky's. Do you wish Becky was there with you at this moment for support? No. Like, she, like, I called her and let her know what happened, and she supported me that way. Um, I mean, my girlfriend's supporting me. Like, she's been very supportive and there for me, and it's just meant a lot, honestly. Wasn't your dad the first person you came out to over the phone? He wasn't the first person I came out to, no. He was actually the last, but yes, um, I did do it over the phone. Yes, my girlfriend is still here. Um, my brother just tried to call, but I don't, I don't know. Obviously, I can't answer it on here. But if I do end up muting, it's because I answered him. So if he does call again or whatever. Um, are you and wifey having some quality alone time? Yes, we are. snakeskin backpack so pretty I, you guys are gonna be shocked I got this at a freaking grocery store like I was in the makeup aisle or whatever and I just like saw it like there was like a few purses and I was like whoa okay I'm obsessed with that like um the store is called Myers. okay I guess it's not really a grocery store it's like gro it's kind of like Walmart actually in a way but like better so yeah I love it. Always looking cute, Amber. Thanks. Do you hate my name? I'll change it. I'm actually a lesbian. I was just being silly. No, you don't have to change it. Gay for Amber Lynn. Totes cute. I love that. Where's the shirt from? This is from Hot Topic, actually. Why don't you ever get sponsors? I am emailed to do things but I just I don't know I think it's laziness if I'm being honest like I just I don't know and plus I don't want to sponsor something and like be fake about it and just like do it for money I really feel like if I was to sponsor like if I was to do something like that like say eyelashes for an example that was like the last one that someone messaged me like I would want to wear them for like a month and then do it and I'm just like I don't really know I'm too lazy um, can you please make a different name besides wifey? I mean, she's my girlfriend. So girlfriend, uh, do you regret not being able to see your family these past years? Yes, 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 yes. I have beat myself up about it like really bad today, obviously. So what if your brother has something to tell you about your dad? Um, I think he would have called more than once, but if he does call again, I will mute and answer. I have bought the best clothes from grocery stores. Hey, I mean, if you can find them, get them. Um, Becky is at Eric and Ricky's. Target is like Walmart, but has such cute stuff. There are similar stores, but Target is way better than a Walmart, for sure. I know it's early, but any Halloween plans you want to do? I am so I am so wanting fall and Halloween. Um I don't really have any Halloween plans. No. Fifth request to add members only link. I do need to do that. I'm sorry. What kind of squishmallows do you have, Amberlynn? I love your videos. I did have one or two. Um, it was like a colorful leopard one. It wasn't really my fave thing ever, so I gave it to Goodwill. 
You are so real. I appreciate how open you are. I love you, girl. Thank you. I love you. I try to be as open as I can. Obviously, I'm not open about literally everything because, like, not possible. But I'm sure you guys could tell, like, I'm just, like, low-key, like, super down today. So, I just figured I would tell you why. Members only link is on Amber's YouTube page under community. Thank you for saying that. I didn't know that. Why don't you use they slash them pronouns for Becky? Because Becky is she slash they. So I just, I don't know, out of habit since she accepts both. What's my love language? Um, <laughs> I feel like I know, like my output used to totes be gifts, but I feel like it's everything. Like literally everything. Like, I don't know, with my girlfriend, I noticed that. Like, I just want to give it all the love that I have in every way. But when it comes to receiving, definitely like physical touch is my top. And then words is my second. Um, are we gonna do a couple's costume? I don't know. Why didn't you go to Eric's? We would love to see him. We miss him, Ricky Chubbs. I usually go, but um, I just wanted to spend the weekend here. Plus, you know, I don't know. Hold on a second. Okay. Um, sorry about that. Missing your tour hauls, when will you do them? I don't really shop at tour as much anymore. And if I do, it's like um, one thing. So I don't know. I have been thinking about doing a, um, like a weekly vlog moment, but I don't know. Maybe like in the vlogs I can share the hauls. Peachy, welcome to Stream Queens. Um, why do you say you don't know what to vlog when you get suggestions for content from your subscribers every week? I don't really know. Like I guess some things I just don't really want to vlog. I feel like they're not like entertaining enough. I don't know. What's my Starbucks Starbucks order? It's the vanilla, wait, what is it called? What is it called? The vanilla thing I get? The vanilla bean frappuccino. Oh, vanilla bean frappuccino. And Berlin is killing it, thanks. <sighs> we miss vlogs. I, why does everyone, it's so crazy. Like, I feel like people used to hate my vlogs and then ever since I stopped them, I think people realized, okay, I kind of like those low key. I miss filming them. It's just like, I don't know. Mm. So today's Tuesday. What if I started like a weekly vlog next Monday and then uploaded it on like Sunday night. I could try that. Um, what do you like most about having wifey around? It's just like, she makes me happy. Like, I don't know, my heart just feels like good when I'm around her. And I don't know, it's a good feeling, like for sure. Got my coworker Sally and Cindy into watching you can you shout them out? We are obsessed. Happy Tuesday, by the way. Hello, Sally and Cindy. Thank you for watching. I appreciate the support. How do you feel about all the positive support Becky is getting when you get so much hate for doing the same stuff? You know, I actually low-key thought the same thing. Um, but 
I don't want Becky to get any negativity because I'm just not like that. Like, just give it to me instead. So it makes me happy that she's getting the support that she's getting. So have you been to Subway recently? No, I actually don't really care for Subway anymore at all. Favorite thing about fall is probably like the trees. Like it's just so beautiful and it's like perfect weather. Amberverse is my second fave franchise followed wait what <laughs> followed by the Marvel Cinematic Universe love that can you try to do ASMR I actually have done some ASMR videos not gonna lie not gonna lie does Twinkie like other dogs depends sometimes she's gotten a lot better since we've lived here because like when she goes outside when she's walked or whatever she sees dogs so she's like more used to them but she used to like growl and bark like all the time at dogs would i rather eat a tub of mayo that's been left in the sun for three days or eat 80 blended up snails ew wait hold on i have to really like i like to answer these like as if it's truly happening. <sighs> okay. Would I rather eat a tub of mayo that's been left in the sun for three days or 80? I feel like the, okay. So 80 snails blended up probably like isn't that much. I could be wrong. It's definitely less than the mayo. And I feel like I could like, chug down the blended the snails so i'm just gonna say that as gross as that is oh my god that's so gross hi alr me and my girlfriend mina are watching you together can we please get a shout out you're the best hello magda and mina thank you guys for the support um hey girl looking so adorable as always What's been your favorite moment with wifey so far? Also, what does your shirt say? Um, thank you, Lexi. Hello to you. Um, okay, so it says strawberry. <laughs> and my favorite, oh my God, that is so hard. Like one exact moment. Oh my God, that's so hard. I feel like it's just like all the, no just it's just all the sweet moments but I don't want to get into that uh what's your favorite meal wifey has cooked you um probably baked wings like literally so good the best I've ever had in my life Kelly welcome to stream queens Alicia welcome to stream queens how are you feeling? I don't feel like you get asked that enough. I'm going through it. I'm very sad. Done a lot of crying today. Um, I kind of want to like curl up in a ball and just like cry, but I'm hoping to just like have a good night actually. Instead of letting my feelings kind of ruin my day. I don't want that. Hello to Nikki's girlfriend Caroline or Carolyn I hope I'm not saying that wrong I feel like I am but hello you should definitely get merch yeah I want to team Edward or Jacob can't say Alice I am team Jacob I am vlogs finally there is there isn't there to talk about without content I don't really know what that means but yeah I'm gonna try it Say strawberry, why not hoot and be hoot berry? Huh? I don't even know. Um You can't kill the snail and its only mission in life is to catch you. 
I'm confused. Um, Amber, if this doesn't work out with wifey, would you take time to work on yourself or look for another girlfriend? I'm never looking for a girlfriend, so. And I hope that it does work with her. I don't really see why it wouldn't at the moment. So. What's wifey's favorite meal that you've cooked for her? <laughs> I've made two things for her. <laughs> the ramen from. I have like a ramen recipe that is so good. So I might actually vlog that one day because I mean, some people love ramen and I feel like this is like, I don't know. One day I just randomly like had all these random ingredients and I'm just like, oh, I feel like that'd be good in there. Oh, that'd be good in there. And it's just like, I don't know. It's really good. I'm so happy for you finding someone who truly makes you happy. There is nothing like finding that person. It's true. Like, I just genuinely feel happy when I'm around her. <laughs> Sorry. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Would I ever go blonde? Probs not. Have you ever tried banana milk? I have not. Do you have a P.O. box? You could do unboxing bids in the future. Yes, I do. Um... Yeah, I could actually make that part of the vlog as well. Amber, wow, you're so bad at this. Thank you. I know I am. I love that for me. What is your definition for the word hootenberry? I have no idea what it means. It's everything. It's a verb. It's a noun. It's a everything. Adjective. All of it. Hello to someone's sister, Emily. Hello. Is it the buffalo chicken sausage ramen? No, it's not. Why do you think your girlfriends always break up with you? Uh, they don't. I've broken up with past girlfriends as well. Um, and they always have a valid reason. So. And thankfully, it's never about me. Because trust me, like, well, besides Destiny. Mm, I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes a part of me feels like she broke up with me because she found Dana, which is totally fine. Like, I'm totes over it. But, I don't know. Show us how to make the ramen. I want to, for sure. What was in the smoothie you had? It looked good. By the way, David Bradley the third, welcome to Stream Queens. Okay, what was in the smoothie? Spinach, collard greens. Apple, avocado, berries, flaxseed, chia seed. Damn, all that? Yeah. Oh, dang, I'm healthy, queen. I don't know if you guys heard that. Wow. I love that. <sighs> okay, do you feel like wifey is more in control of you than Becky was? <laughs> Did you need more... Wait, did you need more of a dominant girlfriend? Um, <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. You're not bad at this. There's over 3,000 people watching. Oh my God. No, my thing says over 4,000. I'm, hi everyone. <laughs> Can you please say hi, Alex and Brandon? We love you. Hi, Alex and Brandon. Thank you for the support. If you could travel anywhere in the world, where would it be? It would be Bora Bora, for sure. Do you hang out with other lesbian couples besides Destiny and Dana? One other one? Yes. What is one thing in your life that you cannot live without? So can it be like a person, like an animal? Because obviously I would say my fur babies. And I mean, it would be hard to live without my girlfriend. So that, obviously the internet, my phone, YouTube, um, my freaking mother, uh, air, music. I mean, I can go on for sure. 
a good makeup moment. Um, I'm just trying to look. Why are people so fat phobic towards you? I don't know. I feel like it's just easy to be. It's just easy. Amberlynn, please, please make recorded vlogs again. I just binged all your old videos and I miss your weight loss journey and outings. Wow. Thank you for watching them. I appreciate it. And yes, um, I will. I just need like the motivation, you know, but I definitely want to. Um, Gatto, sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Welcome to Stream Queens. Blair, welcome to Stream Queens. Can you tell why Fia said her voice is super relaxing? She sounds so sweet. Don't worry, I'm not trying to hit on your girl. She's all yours. <laughs> yeah, I love her voice for sure. Can you shout out Adriana and Alejandra? Love you. Hello to you guys. Where's Becky? Eric and Ricky's. What's your favorite song? My favorite song right now? Hold on, I don't wanna butcher this. Actually, I have quite a few. I have like a handful that I keep like playing over and over and over and over. Literally can't help it. Okay, I'm going to my Spotify right now. Hold on. And I'm just gonna name a few that I'm actually loving right now. So we have Meet Me At Our Spot, which is by The Anxiety, Willow, and Tyler Cole, Obsessed. Body Talk by First Vows, Every Kind of Way by Her, Bitter by Fletcher. I'm just going to say those. Those are my top one, two, three, four, four right now. Like, I feel like I can listen to those, like, just constantly. She can't point out Bora Bora on a map. That's an LOL and could possibly be true, but I don't know. <laughs> but I will be there one day not gonna lie watching any good shows um the L word been watching that do I believe in pretty privilege yes I do I do Why do you keep ignoring the super chats, Amber? I'm about to file fraud charges with my bank, not getting what I paid for. So when it comes to super chats, um, it's not like an obligation to read them. Obviously, I completely appreciate them, but it's not an obligation. I actually try my hardest to read all of them, but I just can't get around to it because I'm also trying to read the chat from my paying members as well. So it, it is hard to read everything. It's like not possible. Um, so I do apologize. My favorite artist music wise, um, I have like biased ones, which is Miley Cyrus and Billie Eilish. Like I'm biased over them because I just love them, but they're not like my, oh my God, my absolute favorite. Like, well, Billie Eilish might be, I've, I'm completely just Miley Cyrus biased. Like she could do anything and I just be like, I love it. Even if I hate it, like it's one of them. But, um, I really like Banks. Um, she's a singer. Love. I also really love, um, Kings of Leon. I don't listen to them as much, though, anymore. But, Amber, your hair looks fire. Thank you. I appreciate that. Oh, my God. You guys, I used conditioner for the first time in, like, a year. Like, I've been trying to just um, use shampoo, but I was like, you know what? I'm going to have me a conditioner moment, and I feel like it did some good, so I might continue doing that. What would be the last movie you would watch before you die? I wanted to say Forrest Gump because that's my favorite movie, but I feel like I would want to watch something funny, maybe like a Step Brothers. Step Brothers. I would totes watch that. 
If a show slash movie was made after your life, what actress would you want? Wait, what actress would you have play you? Um, probably like a Melissa McCarthy moment, I guess. I don't know. Do I watch 600 Pound Life? Uh, yes. Yes, 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 I do. What is your rising sign and your moon? I need to know, please, please. I don't know what that means. Rising sign. Is that like my zodiac? I feel like it's not. Do you know, what's a rising sign? It's the main one. So like my zodiac? Oh, I'm confused. I don't know. The one that you know. So Capricorn. Yeah. Oh, okay. Capricorn. I love your vlogs. You're so entertaining and your vlogs are fun to binge watch. Whenever you're ready to vlog, I'll be there to watch for sure. Thank you, B. I appreciate it. Um, were you shocked at the latest L Word episode? These writers are wild. So we're actually in the middle of that episode right now. Are they wild? Mm, they definitely did a few things that I was not expecting, but I just feel like there are things that I want to happen that are not happening and it's making me very angry. And I don't want to give anything away, so I'm not going to like say what it is or anything like that. So yeah, Becky said she was busy editing, not at Eric and Ricky's. Why can't she edit at Eric and Ricky's? I'm confused. Very confused. Mm, if YouTube ended tomorrow, what would you want to do as a profession? A writer or um, I used to want to be a teacher. I could totes be a vet, even though that'd be so hard, but I would love to work with animals. I would love that. Of course, she believes in pretty privilege and thin privilege. I mean, because it's a thing. Like, favorite YouTuber? I don't have one. I haven't been watching YouTube. No, I'm just going to say Kendall Ray because I thoroughly enjoy her videos. So I'm going to go with that. Would you date Forrest? No. But he's still my baby. Mm. Oh my goodness, yes. I would watch Super Bad, definitely. If you could get high with any two celebrities, who would it be? Ooh, I love that. Miley Cyrus. <laughs> I'm allowed to say Billie Eilish. <laughs> I definitely Miley Cyrus because I'm pretty sure she still smokes weed. I don't know, maybe. But also Billie Eilish because Billie Eilish is just so like, I don't know, she's so nice to her fans. So yeah, I would choose them. Why not? She's the least Capricorn I've ever met. I, I don't really believe in Zodiac stuff, so. Wait, oh, Billy can't smoke? Is she too young to smoke? I don't even know. How old do you have to be to smoke weed? I'm lost, okay, love that. Would I ever visit Japan? Mm, I don't know, it's definitely not on my like top ones, so. Do you ever plan on having short hair? No. Belinda, welcome to Stream Queens. Happy birthday to David Bradley. I hope you have a great one. Yeah, because you're very much not a Capricorn. Okay, so what is a Capricorn? And like, what about me is not a Capricorn, if that makes sense? Okay, so you have to be 21 to smoke. Oh, hmm. Someone said she's terrible at this. I love that. Have you binged in front of wifey? No. How can you be so beautiful? Gorgeous hair, makeup, smile, and overall bubbly personality. Wifey is lucky. Oh, that's sweet. I don't think that at all about myself. Like when people say things like that, I'm just like, they're lying. 
it's like a pity moment. But if you're serious, thank you. Like, I appreciate it. We can do your natal chart. What is your birth date, time of birth, and the city you were born in? Okay, so I don't have a time of birth, but I was born 12-27-90 in Key West, Florida. Capricorns are go-getters and very driven to succeed. Oh, love that. Hmm. Well, I guess I'm not that, even though I want to be. So you should try going blonde. You could rock it. Mm, I don't know. Oh, by the way, a lot of you are going to think this is like dumb or whatever, but I did over 5,000 steps yesterday and it was hard. I'm going to be honest, but it wasn't like as hard as it might seem for someone my size, if that makes sense. So very proud. What am I having for dinner? I don't know. Um, happy birthday to Julia. I hope you have a great one. Name one bad thing about wifey. You know what I want to say, huh? Am I allowed to say it? Mm -hmm. Is that what you thought? Wait, what did you think I was going to say? You can say that. Wait, did you think it was something else? Yeah, but we'll talk about it later. You can say it. Wait, I'm so Okay, so... <laughs> the one thing that me and her don't agree on is... want to say it okay she is like she wants like <laughs> I don't know how to word it she's Polly but she said she'd be willing to be monogamous with me try it out and I did a little compromise moment but I'm not gonna say like what it is um <sighs> which is hard but she, <laughs> she doesn't want to date other people. Just, <laughs> you know. Okay. It is what it is. We just disagree. But we try to talk about it. So. You know. Is wifey ashamed of you? That's why she won't go on camera. I don't think she's ashamed of me. Don't think so. You're doing super well keeping up with the chat. Thank you. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. Will we ever see a fan meetup? P.S. Your skin looks 100. Um, my skin? Okay. Thank you. But a meetup? Probably not. Hey, Amberlynn. I love you and I hope you're doing good. Thank you. I love you as well. And mm, mm, not that great. Is it hard to manage having super long hair? No, it's actually not. It's not. She wants to cheat on you. No, that's not really, no. I don't think, like, the way that she describes it, it's definitely not, like, cheating because, I don't know. I mean, I get it. It does seem that way. I don't wanna talk about it anymore. You guys wanted the answer. That's the answer. I don't want to talk about it anymore because the subject makes me just, mm -mm. yeah. Um, you shouldn't need to compromise. I feel like in relationships, like you do need to compromise certain things. Like, especially if you guys want to be together and you guys love each other. I feel like um, there needs to be compromise in certain aspects because Especially if the compromise isn't that big of a deal, if that makes sense. Because, like, the compromise truly isn't that big of a deal, in my opinion. Like, I'm down. Anyways, <laughs> you guys are probably so confused. I love that. Okay, Cody, welcome to Stream Queens. Um, 
No, I'm not being pushed into a poly relationship. Trust me. Okay, everyone, back to business. ALR's moon is in Taurus. <laughs> yes, let's get back to business. Okay, what does that mean? What does me being, or the, my moon in Taurus mean? Is that bad or good? I need to know. Amber, I think you'd enjoy a poly relationship. No, 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 I wouldn't because I'm very jealous. Like she's already explained to me, like she wants to be in a relationship with me. She just wants, like, <laughs> I don't want to give too much of her business out, but obviously like I'm the one that she wants, you know, in like all aspects, but I don't know. It's just, I'm very like jealous and like, I honestly, if I was to hook up with someone else, I feel like I would just be thinking of her. Like, that's just the way that I see things. I don't know. Um, no, wifey is not trans. I'm being genuine. You're so pretty, Amber. I'm shocked that you don't believe you're beautiful because you are. You should be more confident. Thank you. I appreciate that, but I don't know. I'm, I'm trying to work on it. So I've known she was Polly even before, um, we were in a relationship. Mm, who would want just you love that. Thanks. You don't need to compromise if it involves adding a third person. Mm, I don't I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say. Like, just forget the topic. Trust me, I'm totally fine with what we've agreed to. And it's not like I'm totally fine with it. Like, I want to do it, if that makes sense. So, your top is cute. Thank you. No, Becky and wifey are not. No, 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 That's so funny. You like food a lot. I hate food. I literally hate food. Ruin my life. Moon and Taurus is linked to binging. Oh, wow. Okay. Interesting. <clears throat> Hi, AL. I sent you a DM on IG. Nothing crazy. It's about a book. I know you love to read. Looking pretty as always. Thank you. And I will definitely read that message. I've been reading all my Instagram messages. For the most part. Hi, Amber. My best friend Dakota loves watching you. Can you wish her luck on her new job? Dakota, good luck on your new job. I hope that you like it and enjoy it. Would you do a makeup get ready with me vlog? Would love to see your makeup routine. Yeah, I could definitely do that. Because I've been using a lot of the same makeup. Like, I feel like my makeup routine hasn't changed, like, in the last, like, few months. So, yeah. No, I would not be in a poly relationship with a guy. Oh, nope, 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 nope. Nope, nope, nope. Mm. Moon and Taurus also needs to find your own self-respect self so you don't seek it in material objects. Okay. I have, feel like I haven't really bought anything for me, like, in a hot minute, so. Hmm.
I feel like maybe I shouldn't have said anything about the poly thing because now people are putting words in her mouth, my mouth. <sighs> it's nothing. Is that why you're a little more comfortable with men now? Mm, comfortable with men? I don't really know what that means. But you mean like me questioning if I'm a lesbian? No, that has nothing to do with it, I don't think. Mm, no. I guess I've just been confused the last couple of years because like Eric and Ricky and Becky especially, they're all like, you're not a lesbian, you're not a lesbian. Oh my God, there's no way. And it's just like, maybe they saw something before I did. Like obviously pussy first. <laughs> like let's be real. But I don't know. Would I experiment with a guy? I, yes, I would. And it is what it is, so. Yep. Oh my goodness. I can't, I shouldn't have said anything. Natasha, welcome to Stream Queens. Taurus is a great sign to have as your moon sign. I love that. You just bought a bag. No, I didn't. If you're talking about this, I've had this for months. Literal months. Where's Wasabi? Probably sleeping somewhere. Where? I don't know. Tell Queen Twinkie I said hi. Twinkie, garlic bread said hi. I wish Amber would just be honest with us, her supportive and loving fans. I, I am for sure. I just don't feel like you guys need every single detail of every single thing. So. Do you believe in having multiple soulmates or do you think wifey is one? Uh, oh, and do you think wifey is one? Yes, I think that there is like multiple soulmate situations. Like you can find a soulmate and a friend. Um, it doesn't just have to be like a sexual relationship or whatever. Like I feel like Twinkie is my like dog soulmate. Like, I don't know. It's so weird. I feel like she was meant to be in my life for sure. And then like Rarity and Wasabi, like also perfect. Um, so is wifey my soulmate? I feel like, how do you answer that question? Um, <laughs> I'm getting nervous. Okay. When do you notice and how do you notice if that makes sense? Because I'm going to be honest, Crystal was my best friend soulmate. And I didn't realize that until like years later. Like I'm talking like five years later, I was like, this bitch right here is my best friend soulmate. So it's like one of them moments. What were you crying about today? Um, my dad, he's in the hospital. Moon and Taurus is also linked to being a girl. I'm definitely a girl for sure. People are literally looking for anything to talk about. Keep things personal. Only talk about what you're ready to open up about. You're right. You're right. One food you miss that wifey won't let you eat. So she lets me do what I want. She doesn't like control me. But she helps me not like, how do, I, how, how do I explain this? Like she knows what I want, which is I don't want to binge. I don't want to order like seafood boil, even though I do. I want to, but I don't want to because I know I, I shouldn't. And with her telling me, you know, you probably shouldn't and stuff like that, like that helps a lot. So I'm going to go with seafood boil 
it's so bad for me. Every time I eat it, I gain weight. And like so much sodium. So having someone tell me you shouldn't do that helps me a lot. Like that's all I've ever wanted from someone, to be honest. So it feels good. And it's not because I know people are like, whatever, she's not controlling. She knows what I want. And I want someone to help me. Like, if I'm in a relationship with someone, I want to help them succeed in whatever they want to succeed in. And vice versa. I feel like it's super important to be supportive towards your partner. And she does that for me. What you think of Kentucky people? Are they nice? Mm, some can be. It depends. <laughs> Did any of your exes ever have a problem with you sending Crystal 300 Christmas gifts? Oh my god. It wasn't 300, but no. Because they understood um, mine and her friendship. Is wifey understanding of your binge eating disorder? I haven't like fully went into it with her. Um, maybe I have. I don't really talk about it because I haven't binged in so long. So I don't know. Which of your exes would wifey get along with the most? Mm. I'm just going to go with Becky since they've already met. Oh, no. You binge on crab legs. No, it's not crab legs. <laughs> you said that's bougie. Oh, my God. Oh, ooh, a crab leg sounds so good. Holy. Can you make wifey dinner and vlog it? Yes. That actually sounds fun, huh? Yeah. I mean, obviously I wouldn't show her, but yes. Do you and wifey want kids together? We are, we're both very like, no, we don't. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. No, we don't. Like, it's like back and forth um, when it comes to, like, wanting a kid. Not like us together. I mean, we don't know the future, but I'm just saying, like, in general, you know? So, you think after you get comfortable with wifey, you'll give in to your urges more? Um, no, I don't think so. Like my mom said something to me the other day because she was asking about like my binging or whatever. And she's like, do you think that your girlfriend like fills a void that you had? Like that's the reason why you binged. And that very well could be it because it's like I binged when I was so sad and like so depressed. And I just don't like I'm sad about normal things. Obviously now like a lot of crying today because like my dad and stuff. Um... But I don't feel like, I don't know. She just makes me happy. So it's like, why, why would I need to like binge? I don't know how to explain what I'm trying to say, <laughs> but she just makes me happy. So it helps a lot. What's the bruise on your arm? I don't have one. You might be talking about like a scar that I have because I do have... I do have some scars for sure. Hold on a second. Yeah, I don't know what a barb is either. Like, a lot of people keep saying that. I don't know what that is.
What do you think of Louisville folks? I don't have an opinion. I've never been there. I don't think wifey is controlling. I think she's just more dominant than her past relationships, which could really be a good thing. Yeah, and it's like, you know what's really weird? I never wanted dominance from anyone else in the past. Like, no to Becky, no to Destiny, no to Crystal. Like, I did not want that from anybody. Like, don't even. But with her, it's like different. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it's kind of hot. <laughs> Like, I don't know. Like, it's just different. You can't explain it. And that's fine. I don't know what a barb is. My favorite animal. I honestly think it might be like a hedgehog. It used to be a genet, but <sighs> hedgehogs are so cute. Uh... What do you think of backlash to last stream? I don't know what the backlash was because I don't read comments. So, have I ever traveled outside of the country? No. I think you're just in the honeymoon phase and haven't showed the binge monster. <laughs> the binge monster, I'm dead. Uh, maybe, but I'm just hoping that's not the case. Like, I don't want to binge. I don't have that, like, urge at all. At all. Am I still doing therapy? I am. My appointment is next week. You can't depend on a relationship to control your binging. Yeah, you're right. But it's helping for now. And then I guess, you know, me seeing a therapist or whatever is also going to help because I did open up to my therapist about um, my food problems. So... A Barb is a Nicki Minaj fan. Oh, I've never heard of that. Hmm. Um, just trying to read, just trying to read. Okay, do you have a plan if you have the urge to binge? I'd probably like be vocal about it and I feel like she would help me. Um, if wifey could get you flowers again, which type would you ideally like? Definitely roses and baby's breath, red roses, baby's breath. Those are my fave. Am I a mushroom girl? Uh, no, I used to be a mushroom girl, but mushrooms kind of freak me out now. I don't know what it is. Are you jealous that Becky will be live streaming? Are you worried she will accidentally reveal things about you that you don't want public? Absolutely not. Nope. Can you say good luck on your new job to Andy Stevens? Good luck on your new job, Andy Stevens. Oh my gosh, she's skipping so many comments because there's a lot. Um, is wifey taller than you? Everyone is taller than me. Literally everyone. So. Baby's breath are little flowers. Yeah, they're like little white flowers. And it looks so beautiful with red roses. What do you ask for at the salon? I like your hair. <laughs> Absolutely nothing. Literally nothing. But thank you. How tall am I? I am like 5'3". When wifey first met me, she said that I was shorter than she thought I would be. Which is really weird. Because it's like I forget that I'm short until someone like says it. Or if I have to reach up and try to grab something. That's about it. Uh, do you watch Willow Davis? No. No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Where did you walk for 5K steps? I walk... Um, around the apartments um bring twinkie every single time 
yeah and I also walked up a set of stairs today and I did some yesterday and I honestly shocked myself and I know that sounds so ridiculous like everyone should be able to walk upstairs like whatever but I don't know I shocked myself Jordan welcome to stream queens you seem really tall oh my god everyone says that like I thought the same thing about Chantel and when I found out that she was the same height as me I was shook because I imagined her as like a 5'8 moment and then when I realized that she was short, I was like, well, what is happening? I was so shocked. Would you take $1 million if it meant you gained 100 pounds? No, absolutely not. I'm pissed she doesn't use conditioner and it looks healthier than mine. I think it's because I... Oh, honestly, I don't know. I think maybe I'm just lucky, but um, I only wash my hair once every three days sometimes four sometimes it depends on how greasy it gets um because i feel like your hair needs that natural moment i normally don't brush it wet um i normally don't brush it every day but wifey likes to brush my hair i don't know it feels really good so um she's been brushing it daily but my hair like it feels and looks really good so maybe that's a good thing and the fact that i use conditioner for the first time in like a year. So I don't know. It's going good. Mm. Have you been to New York City? I have not, but it's on a bucket list. Do you remember 9-11? I do. Oh, okay. So I'm a couch bound 500 plus pound goddess. Okay. Love fat shaming. It's my actual favorite. For sure. Mm, Cast asks if you're nervous about a fan seeing you and wifey in public. Um, no. No. Why would I be nervous? Hey, you watched Zachary Michael lately? He has been supportive. No, I literally don't watch YouTube. It's so weird. Like all I do is listen to music, watch the L word. I'm trying to watch the new season of American Horror Story, but it's like hard. I can't seem to get into it. Um, what else am I watching? I don't even know. I just listen to a lot of music lately for sure. What if you and your girlfriend go out in public and someone sees you? I don't, I don't get the question. I don't get it. Would you pay 10,000 to lose a hundred pounds? To lose a hundred pounds? That'd be a uh, 10,000 for a hundred pounds. I feel like any normal person would say yes, but it's like, I have more than a hundred pounds to lose. So it's like, okay, is 10,000 really worth the hundred? I feel like I would. I feel like I would. Yes, I would. If someone literally came up to me and said $10,000 and I'll magically make you lose a hundred pounds with no consequences, I would do it. I would. Are you decorating or prepping for Halloween? No, I have not. No hate on Becky, but why didn't she want to work the entire time you were together? Because I just supported us both. Virgin hair is usually very healthy looking. Oh, no, no, no. I've bleached my hair. I've dyed my hair. Um, yeah, I've done a lot to my hair. Which is really weird that it is as healthy as it is. My mom's hair is the same way. So, yeah. What was I doing during 9-11? I was in fifth grade. 
I was in an all girls group home. I was being forced to eat strawberry yogurt and it was making me gag, but we couldn't get up off the table until we finished all our food. So I was being forced and they had the news going in the living room and where I sat at the kitchen table, I could see the TV. I looked over and then all of a sudden I saw buildings blow up. And as a little girl, I was like confused. So they had to explain it to me, but I remember like literally, I remember it like it was yesterday. So that's what I was doing. And I heard that a lot of people didn't have to go to school that day. We still did. So I don't know. Baby cakes. Welcome to stream Queens. Have I read any Amberlynn fan fiction? Someone sent me a screenshot on Instagram like a week ago and it was the most disgusting thing I think I've ever read in my actual life. I, who would write something like that? Ugh, ugh, it was gross. Have I seen Supernatural? I have not, no. Oh my god, some of these questions. Oh, uh, let's see. I feel like a lot of things are being repeated. It kind of makes me sad that you're clearly not feeling well, yet you come on and stream and you get hate. <sighs> yeah, for sure. But I feel like I'm handling it pretty well. So I feel like I've cried enough today. And like I said, I just want to have a good night tonight. I'm hoping for that. So what is a Brazilian wax? Do you know what that is? What is it? Oh, nah. <laughs> nah. Nah, would you guys get one? That's the real question. You know? Okay. I don't understand why everyone loves Becky and treats ALR like crap. Becky literally got a free ride from AR. Oh, you say AR instead of ALR, love that. Proposed and then suddenly changed her mind, but still lives there. I ain't saying nothing. I was just reading it. Interesting. Are we counting the minutes tonight? Mm, no, I've been on for 68 minutes. Loving that. Doing good. Just living my best life. You guys are kind of helping me take my mind off of <clears throat> like my dad to be honest, so I appreciate that. It means a lot to me. Have you seen Cheyenne Jasmine's parodies of you? No. Favorite Lana song, um, Million Dollar Man. I love that one for some reason. Am, welcome to Stream Queens. Mm, I have to wake up tomorrow at 3.30 a.m. to get to work on time. What time do you have to wake up tomorrow? Um, I don't have to wake up at any time, but I do wake up when my girlfriend wakes up because, like, I just want to be on her sleeping schedule. So usually it's, like, 8, which is so weird for me because I used to wake up at, like, 5 p.m., like, hi. But, no, I just kind of wake up naturally now at that time, I kind of love it. Kind of there for it. Amber, no hate, but you're too old to be acting this slow sometimes. Oh my God. That's really funny that you say that because 
for some reason, there's like a few people in my life who think that I play dumb. I promise you, I really truly don't. Like I have, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone thinks that. And then, was it Ricky who said it? He's like, it's just your personality at this point. It's a character that you play. And I'm just like, what? What? I don't know. I don't see what y'all see. Someone said, let's keep vibing. I'm trying. Would you get more piercings? Yes, there is a piercing that I will be getting. I promise it is happening. It's happening. Maybe I can vlog that moment. Um, can anyone update me about what's going on with your dad? We know she loves to make stuff up. Definitely not. My dad is in the hospital, um, critical condition moment. So I don't really want to talk about it. Digging this casual in. Keep calm. Hope you guys have a good night. Thank you. I'm trying to, yeah, keep calm for real. Has wifey met Destiny and Dana? No. Nope, nope, nope. I've lost power twice. Tornado sirens in horrible weather, I'm going to have a meltdown for real. Oh my God, Jessica, you're in my thoughts. Um, just, I know it's easier said than done, but just try to stay as calm and as safe as possible, please. Are you Slytherin? No, I'm not. Every single time I take a freaking Harry Potter quiz, I'm Hufflepuff, every single time. It's so weird to me because I wanna be Gryffindor. Like what in the world? I even have a Gryffindor sweater that I loved, that I loved, that I love. So, <sighs> um, no shade at all, but if cuts on your arm don't even heal, how's a piercing going to heal? Um, they don't heal because I don't let them. <sighs> I literally got um, a hysterectomy and it healed very fast, very like perfectly because I actually let it heal and I didn't f fuck with it. Like I fuck with everything else. So yeah. When will Becky do a live? I don't know. I hope soon because I wanna watch it. Any advice to how to talk to my family that I'm a lesbian, I'm very scared of their reaction. Hmm. So I notice for me that I word things better like if I write write it down. So if you're that way, maybe you could write a letter. But if you're not that way, I would just like sit them down and just let it all out. That could be very bad advice, but I feel like if I was in your shoes, that's what I would do because having the because I was in your shoes before having the um like that feeling of like oh my god I want to tell them but like I'm scared that feeling is so horrible but once you tell them like that feeling just feels so much better when it's not there like but I don't know what their reaction is going to be you just have to um I don't know be patient with them I know a lot of people disagree but I I feel like it can be hard for parents because like you've had time to accept that you are gay and they, I feel like they should get their time to accept it. And I know that sucks that we're in that type of world where you have to accept something like that. But sometimes I feel like parents can be shocked and I feel like it's only normal to have like a shocked reaction or whatever it may be. Um, but that's just kind of the way that I see it. Um, but my advice is definitely do it, but like do it in the way that you think would be right for you. Cause I know for me, it would be like in a letter 
and you could either read it to them or just give it to them. I feel like I'd probably just give mine and just be like, read this. And I'd probably like literally not be in the same room as them. I'd probably leave the whole ass building and just be like, read this, contact me when you want to. That's how I would do it, probably. Whoops, I keep moving the thing. Mm. Wifey doesn't have a type. So you asked, are you wifey's typical type? Doesn't, she doesn't have one, so. Do you still talk to Destiny? Not that often, no. Um. Last DoorDash order. I don't think I've ever used DoorDash. I'm an Uber Eats girl. <laughs> oh my God. Um, ALR, we miss your poetry. Would you ever do slam poetry? I don't know if I'd be good at it, honestly. You're Jigglypuff, not Hufflepuff, okay? Love a good fat joke. I would like to call myself Snorlax, but if you think I'm a Jigglypuff, I'm down. Love that. <laughs> you know, I've only met two people in my life who hate when I make fat jokes about myself. That's Ricky and my current girlfriend. My current girlfriend. <laughs> my girlfriend. Um, everyone else just like accepts it, embraces it, maybe laughs a little. But Ricky... And my girlfriend hate it, hate it, which is, which is new for me for sure. Um, you and wifey should write some poetry together and you guys recite them on live. Oh my God. That sounds so fun. I have to pee. Can you say hi to my friend Tamia? She loves you. Hi, Tamia. Hello. Okay, I've been the biggest supporter for over a year and I've spent too much on nice super chats just to get ignored. I'm sorry. I didn't realize I was ignoring yours. I'm sorry. Oh my God, I have to pee so bad right now. I lost all respect for you after the last live stream. I'm sorry. I don't like to hear that either. Nope, Becky is not here. Nope, nope, nope. Does Twinkie like taking baths? She had a bath a couple days ago and she does not like it, but she deals with it. She just like stands there miserable. She's like, I can't believe you're doing this to me. <laughs> just go stand up and walk to the bathroom to pee. I might do that. Yeah, I think I might go pee. I'm gonna mute it, obviously. And, um, how, how should I do this? Should I like, okay, wait, hold on. Someone just called me. I'm lost. I'm lost. Maybe I should get off because someone did just call me. Bring you to the bathroom. Wait, I, I was thinking about it. <laughs> wait, that would get like legit de demonetized. Someone said pee on us. Wait, <laughs> no, no, I will okay, 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 I have an idea. All right, I'm gonna scooch you guys. Wait, hold on, I'm an actual mess. Okay, I'm gonna take you guys off of this. Okay, this is like a whole, I literally feel like I am FaceTiming right now. Okay, 
Okay, love this for us. This is like a quality moment, hi. So this is how it is to FaceTime. I'm wearing a Fitbit. I don't know why I told you guys that. So hi, we're FaceTiming. <laughs> we're literally going pee. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I'm laughing because it's a hooting. Okay, we're in the bathroom. And I'm gonna mute this. Wait, no. You guys are gonna sit in the kitchen. We can't do this. Kitchen moment? Where's mute? Okay, I'll be right back. Hello? What just happened? Oh, someone called me. Okay. Someone called me. We have kind of a mess. Okay. Oh my God, you guys, we're vlogging. We're fucking vlogging. We're vlogging. I look so... Can you guys even... Okay. We have some bananas. Okay, so you guys, it is what it is. This kitchen's kind of a mess. I want a snack. Oh. This is so good. By the way. It is lemon perfect, cold pressed lemon water, dragon fruit mango. Five calories. It's pretty tasty. Y'all. I'm hungry. I did have cheese sticks at one point, but those are gone. I would eat one of these, but it would annoy you guys so much. Because I like crunch on them hardcore. Hmm. I think I'm screwed. Hi. <sighs> yes, I am mobile. I am. Y'all. It is such a mess in here. Maybe I should clean a little bit. We have some spinach out. We can put that away. You know? So you guys are just watching me at this point. I'm done. We have some flaxseed moment. Some chia seed moment. We can put that away. This is how I FaceTime all my friends. I'm like, this is that. And yes, you guys, I get out of breath. Okay. Note goes in the fridge. Oh, yeah, about that. <laughs> We're throwing that milk away. <sighs> Why is the milk out? <laughs> I'm dead. I've never FaceTimed before, what? Okay. I'm gonna empty the milk. Ew. I have dishes. Y'all. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'm dead. This is the dumbest thing, okay. So gross. Okay. I'm trying to read the comments. It's not working. Okay. We're gonna have the water running. Ew! It 
you guys saw this, you would puke. You really would. I'm not lying right now. You guys want to know the milk story? I'll tell you the milk story. Okay. So me and my girlfriend. Wait, hold on. I don't know if you guys can hear me. Ew, this is so gross. It just splattered on me. <laughs> I'm leaving. Ew. Am I going to get salmonella? Okay, hold on. I'm going to do the garbage disposal. So... Ew. I literally just puke. It's a mess. It's a mess. <gasps> oh, this is cute. Okay, hold on. I need to do the dishes. Hold on. Okay. Milk story. So we uh woke up and domestic win. Okay, so we woke up and we made breakfast together. She made French toast. I made um hash browns. Um, okay, that's a cute little kitchen. It is when it's clean. And, uh, sorry, I'm trying to read these two. Okay, so for some reason, we bought milk and we didn't need it and we accidentally left it out. That's literally the story. But what's cute is we made breakfast together. Like, it was so cute. I was like down for it for sure. Um, you look you look cute like this. Oh my god, whatever. You say milk like me. Yeah, my girlfriend makes fun of me about that. No, this wasn't brownies. This was from baking uh chicken wings, which was so fucking good. It was so good. OCD isn't just cleaning. Yes, that's so true. You guys prefer this style? Oh my god. Do the accent tag. Yes. Yes. No, no, no. She does all the cooking. Like, let's be real. And I do the dishes. She does help with the dishes, but I like feel bad because like she cooks. So yeah. Um, I don't know. What else do I have for you guys? I don't have anything. This live stream is so lame. Um, you can't even stand up for more than 20 seconds without having to lean. Sure. Sure. Okay. You have to realize that I have a huge ass stomach. So I'm gonna put this stuff away. Like I real like my stomach's so big, it makes my back hurt. Like it pulls. Ugh, let me show you. Let me show you. Huge stomach that pulls on my back. Okay. Then we have huge butt that pulls on my back. So we have two pulley moments that is happening and it hurts. Okay. Okay. Cool. Love that. I just hit you guys. No. Where am I going to put this? That's the real question. She bought this. The neutral bullet. She bought it. Isn't that so sweet? That's not a butt. It's a back roll. Cool. Love that. Love that. You guys are gonna see the mess.
you know, you know. Hi. <sighs> so I talked to y'all for a hot minute, so I figured I would just, whatever. You're so giggly. Y'all, that's me in real life. Love that. Oh, I'm a giggly person, for sure. House tour? No. Oh, bring you to Wasabi. Where is he? Hold on. I'll be right back. Where am I going right now? <gasps> Come here. Oh, you want a treat? Come here. Come here. Now they all think they're really getting treats. Come here. Here he is. Here's a little one right here. There he is. Let me go get Rarity. Hold on. keep their treats in we have a bunch of boxes right here for moving purposes okay so I have to like scoot on by oh my god <laughs> did you guys see me almost fall okay so I keep their treats in this and their water comes out of a Brita. All right. I'm gonna give them some water. Wait, hold on. Okay. Rarity gets her treats on the counter. And Wasabi gets his on the ground. Here. And then Twinkie, of course, gets one. Twinkie's going to get this. <laughs> Rarity's in the way. This little thing. Hold on. What the heck? Love that. Okay. So yeah, that's my life. I'm out of breath. I love that for me. Love that for me. I'm going to weigh myself. Keep in mind though, I've ate and all that today. I'll be. Okay. Stepping on the scale. Plus I have clothes on. Okay. Stepping. Y'all. Mm. It's not that good. Take off like four or five pounds. So, I, 
Um, yeah, that's not good at all. But if you guys think so, oh. y'all hot? <clears throat> I'm hot. What's the temp in here? A good 68? We're turning that down to 67. Uh oh. I'm leaning on my counter. <sighs> so, what do you guys want now? I really am not couch bound. I'm not the healthiest, obviously. I'm out of breath, but you guys, it's not what you think. My hair is so frizzy. Oh my god. So, this is my outfit moment. It's just still like a moment. Big butt. Still, you know. I gotta lose weight. <sighs> you know. Take Twinkie out. I'd really be out of breath. On here. I do that by myself. I wish my hair was as long as yours. Ah. So we're FaceTiming y'all right now. Look how frizzy. See, my hair is not that great, y'all. Like, look how frizzy it is. Oh, you guys enjoy these? Um, this dress is from hot topic actually <laughs> yes this is a two bedroom <sighs> this is fun all you guys I feel like I'm so boring do these types of videos and watch the fans come we don't judge the hard breathing. <laughs> ah. No, it is bad. I want to like set you guys up so I can stand more. I, I really try, you guys, every day to stand more, walk more, do more. Like, I'm not this like, you know, perfect person, but I'm definitely not what uh people think i am i don't know it just makes me sad sometimes tiktok dances yes love me a tiktok dance this gives me old school amber vibes oh wait oh my god i was trying to read that that's what everyone enjoys. Thanks. Do you see the support you're getting? <laughs> yeah. What did I do last live stream? I feel bad. Leg reveal. <laughs> mm-mm. So, no, Becky's not moved out. Your energy is so much more positive, this stream, which is so weird because I've had literally the worst day today. Like, I am literally so worried about my dad. I think that's a big reason why I'm still on live stream right now. Oh shit. My phone was about to die. Hold on. I will stand back up after I charge my phone a little bit. If I'm still on here. 
because my phone is fixing to die. Okay, hold on. Is it charging? Okay. It was at 14%. Put you guys back on my trusty tripod here. Shit. <laughs> Sorry. Oh my god. Okay. Okay, let me check my phone real quick. I got some text messages. Stay all night. <sighs> yeah, I definitely need to have some time where I just like stay on for like a hot minute, you know? <sighs> She's not in here right now, actually. Um, my dad is, um, in the hospital. I don't really want to, like, talk, like, why or, like, what's going on. I just don't feel, no, it's not COVID. If you see me looking down, it's because I'm texting. No, it's not related to his diabetes. No, it's not. Do you feel a bit better about what exactly? Please unblock Karina Kaboom. No. Oh, I made your day. Hmm. I just feel like my live streams are super boring, so. Um. Do you still have lots of people sliding into your DMs? Yes. Is it drugs? No. Do you see how little it takes to make us happy? Oh my God. I love that. Uh, you are stunning. Love you moving around. Thank you. Your live streams aren't boring when you let down your walls. She is boring because she doesn't do anything. Love that. So it's nine o'clock. What do you guys want to do? What do you guys want to do? Walk. My phone's currently on the charger. Oh my God, if we went around the apartment, you guys would be hearing huffing and puffing and all kinds of stuff. Huffing and puffing. Hello to David's girlfriend, Alicia, and happy freaking birthday. Never have I ever. Sounds fun. 
You're perfect, aw. I love how this all came about because you had to pee. Yeah, for sure. Normally when I have to pee on live stream, I just like hold it, but I've been really bad with like, um, holding my pee. I need to stop doing that for sure. Um, I miss seeing this more vlogging side. I love seeing your animals and you getting up and moving. Yeah, I know. I know. When am I going to get wifey for her birthday? Hmm. I don't know. What is with this like curly moment that's going on right now? And then like this moment's been happening a lot. Like what? It's like a weird curl that keeps sticking to my face. Um, happy anniversary to Anna and Robert. Oh my God. Happy freaking anniversary. How long have you guys been together? Hello, Lainey. Hello. My birthday is December 27th. Oh my God. So yeah. Have I ever been to Arkansas? No. I need to make a compilation of you saying, oh my God. I don't know why I started saying that. A lot of people are like, what is this new personality? Like, is it your girlfriend? She never says love that. She never says any of those things. I just, one day I was like, love that. And then I couldn't stop. Literally couldn't stop. <laughs> Five stars for this live. Oh, thanks. I wish I had more to talk about. We married within two weeks of knowing each other. It's our three year anniversary and we have a baby boy. That is so inspiring. I literally love that so much. Like I hate people who put like timelines on things because it's just like, like everyone's timeline is different. Like literally everyone's timeline is different. I just hate it. Thank you, Austin. Do I still look pretty with this hair sticking out? Favorite baby names. That's a secret. That's a secret in case I have a baby. Hello to Camilla and Luna. Welcome, 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 welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. I don't know what that was. I mean, I can't have a baby physically because I had a hysterectomy, but so anyways, <laughs> as sad as that is, it's not possible, not possible. I can take care of myself. I take care of myself every single fucking day. Target is your least favorite. Excuse me? Wow, that's crazy. <sighs> Becky is at Eric and Ricky's. What I describe myself as a dainty femme. No, not dainty. This live has been the highlight of my day. I'm glad. I am so glad that makes me happy. Brianne, welcome to Stream Queens and everyone else who joined while I was up doing whatever the heck I was doing. I was literally putting away the neutral bullet. Oh wait, okay, I'm charging my phone. You guys, this is literally my brain all the time, 24 seven. Like 
I'll start one thing and then like in the middle of it, I'll do something else and in the middle of it, I'll do something else. Like, and then nothing ever gets finished. Like, favorite shoe brand? I don't have one. Do I still collect notebooks? No, I do not. I don't. Hello to Amanda's cat, Goose. Love that. So cute. ADHD like me. ADHD Lynn. I've been I've been told I got the ADD but I like I've been told that by professionals but I've never went through the tests that's up to me I know I need to for sure um, my brother is struggling with his bipolar any advice for supporting him he's kind of in denial uh, I was in denial too. I definitely was in denial until I realized that I was ruining all the relationships around me. So I had to see someone. So my advice is he definitely needs to see someone. Um, I take Lamictal. It's a um, mood stabilizer. And it has completely changed my life. Like I'm not... Like, I don't have the super crazy mood swings anymore. Um, I'm not perfect by no means. But it has helped so much. So I just think he really needs to see someone. Um, but he won't do that till he's ready. Since he's in denial, you can't make him do it. Um, it's a tough one. It really is. Baby girl. Do you love your supporters? If so, can you say that you love Sinatra, a big supporter? I don't know who Sinatra is, but love you. Yes, I love my supporters. Lamictal causes brain tumors. Interesting. Never heard of it. <coughs> Twinkie's always barking. She Go back and look at my live streams. She barks whenever she hears someone outside. He's a reaction channel. Don't know. Dream car. Love me a black Jeep moment. Um, there's probably like a dog outside. Someone walking their dog or something. A Twinkie emoji. Yes. Then why do you bulk delete messages? It's just, um, wait, hold on. Because I used to get like hundreds and hundreds every day and there was just no way that I could read them all, but I try to keep up with them the best that I can now. Would I ever do a meet and greet? Probs not because the vid's really bad. Oh, okay. So if none of you, if none of you, what am I talking about? If there's any of you who aren't vaccinated, please get vaccinated. Like I promise. I promise, just get vaccinated. What am I promising you? Um, you're probably not gonna die from COVID, so that's that, that's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, 
you know, I feel like now we're just like literally chilling. <laughs> like, you guys have been fun tonight. I love that. Have you heard of the Slayton sisters? I have. I have. Yes, I am texting. I am so proud of you lately. Really? Why? <laughs> My phone percentage, only 31, only 31. They're on TLC, they do. Yes, I did watch their show. I did, I did. I honestly love it, love it. <sighs> Yes, I am vaccinated. I had no side effects. The, I hate saying no side effects, but it's just like, whatever. Like my arm hurt, my lymph nodes um, under the armpit, and maybe a little tired, but that's it. The theme of the new American Horror Story, something about these creepy little guys that look like maybe the zombie moment, maybe... There's like maybe some vamps and like take a pill, become like the best writer in the world. I've only seen the first episode and um, I am concerned that I'm going to hate this season. Um, so um oh you want me to show my vaccine card <laughs> love that okay hold on i understand being scared trust me okay let me cover anything like i don't know like what's important okay you guys already know my name and my birthday so <laughs> i don't like, understand okay I keep it in my wallet just in case. I like, oh no, I'm not gonna say that. Never mind. Y'all be like hating on me. Never mind. Never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind, never mind. I'm not gonna say it. COVID is bad. Yes, it is. She came with receipts. I wish I had receipts for everything, but I just don't. Yes, bestie, I am back. Um, hi, Kurt, Ryan, and Carolyn. Hello. 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 Okay. I think I've been on here for too long. <laughs> I think I'm losing, losing brain cells from like talking too much. <sighs> Is Rosie Rose here? I don't know. Review shows like 90 day fiance my girlfriend loves that show and i have i seen it maybe like the first season like the first few episodes ever <sighs> rosie was here here earlier love that what <laughs> People will always want you to move, eat, or fart on command. Okay, I saw the word fart and I was like, what? Don't feel like you need to prove anything to anyone. Be happy and be careful out there. You're right. I can't fart on command though. Do virtual or in-person videos with Beauty Beauty. I would love to meet her. I literally would. How far have you and wifey gone sexually? <laughs> you know. Oh my gosh, I thought she just farted. No, I've like, I, y'all, okay. What does it mean when you don't fart a lot? <laughs> Let's just, <laughs> please. Okay, we're friends right now. You guys are at my home hanging out. 
Y'all, what does it mean when you don't fart a lot? I'm talking maybe once a day. And I've been like this for years. Literal years. So, what is, like, I feel like I'm, I don't burp either. I Like, I don't have gas, if you will. Lack of fiber? That's not healthy. Oh, no. Oh, no. Means you don't have indigestion. Hmm. I could ask a doctor. <laughs> Do you eat a lot of dairy? Mm. No, not really. Mm -mm. Gut health as well. <laughs> Try to fart more? Oh my god. Eat black beans. Mm -hmm. um, lack of mobility. I feel like we need answers. Yes, Natasha. We need answers because I'm so confused. I'm so confused. There should be a hotline that you could call and ask health questions to. I would totes call it right now and just be like, um, why don't I fart? <laughs> like, what's wrong with me? So, hotline bling. Call your doctor. These fart fetish guys are living for this content. Ooh, fart daddy. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I literally washed my hair today and look, it's already greasy. That's how I can tell when it like starts to like, it doesn't like flow. It like has a little clump moment. But it's because I do that a lot. I, like, do this a lot. Like, I don't know. Kinky Lynn, yes. I'm bored. I know. I'm sorry. At this point, like, live stream's over. And I'm just sitting here talking as if we're friends. So. <gasps> I love that dry shampoo, actually. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I rarely use it, though. But when I do use it, I'm like, okay, okay. You work pretty good. Loving the stream today. Thank you. I thought you didn't own dry shampoo. I actually recently got some dry shampoo because I was feeling self-conscious about a little bit of grease moment in my hair because I go like this a lot and it was starting to make me feel self-conscious. So I bought some off of Amazon. Yes, I did. Yes, I did. So, yeah. I feel like I have to pee again, but no, I'm good. Um, dry shampoo is bad for your hair. Oh, when do you start Christmas shopping? Sorry. Um, I like to start it in October, like, especially if I have a lot of people to shop for. But I don't this year. Oh, oh my God. Wait. Last, the last four years, I've had to shop for 30 people. And the reason why I know it's 30 people is because every year I would write down their names and then when I bought what I got them, I'd write it next to their name. Like, I'm very, like, I love me a list. I'm a list girl, okay? And so it's always 30. It's always 30. And Becky had a, has a huge family. And I buy for all my friends. And you know what? This year is going to be a little different. I think I'm going to buy for only the people a list tour. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm actually leaving the planet. That was funny. A list tour. I'm, I'm literally here for it. Um, um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah. So this Christmas, I think I'm just going to shop for the people who are closest to me and who, um, I talk to like on like a normal basis instead of, um, yeah. Your live streams keep me sane, girl. Keep doing you. Oh, I'm glad. That makes me happy. 
You're so real and authentic right now. <laughs> you guys are being nice and it's weird because I'm so used to like the hate and the rude that I'm like uncomfy with nice stuff. Don't stop because it helps me be more myself for sure. But um, yeah, I'm just so used to like being mean. Is Becky getting Christmas gifts? Yes. <sighs> the live has been for two hours and five minutes. Do you still talk to Destiny and Dana on a normal basis? No, I do not. So if you're asking, are they getting Christmas gifts? No. That's like no shade towards them, but they're just not. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I should start doing vlogs again. Hi from Russia. Oh my God, I love me a Russia. I love me a Russia. I do say weird things. I don't know why. But, um, why do you guys have a love-hate relationship, you, Dana, and Destiny? It's not that. I don't know. We're just definitely nowhere near as close as we used to be. Um, you know? Do you have a P.O. box? I do. Um, I thought I had it written down over here, but let me see. Okay, so it's Amber Reed, P.O. Box 23937. I just burped, sorry. Lexington, Kentucky. 40523. Oh, did I have it written? I thought it was on this piece of paper, but it's not. Um, I do burp. It's very rare, but I do burp. I do. I'd say I fart about once a day. Burp three times a day. So, yeah. Is Becky getting the Rugrats PS1 game this year? I'm not sure. What is a PS1? Like pay PlayStation? Hey, Amber Lynn, my wife is obsessed with your videos. Her name is Kristen. Can you please say hi to her? Hi, Kristen. Oh, my God. Thank you for being obsessed. I love that. Um, love you, you beautiful human. Oh, thank you. Perrin? Per I need to know how you pronounce your name because I love how it's spelled. Oh, a fart tour. Okay, 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 okay. We can totally do that. I love a fart tour. Your eyes are hazel, aren't they? Yes, they are hazel. Like in here, we got some brown moments. When um, I'm out in the sun or just like the sun is like right here, my eyes are literally green. Um, it just depends, honestly. Sometimes it's like a honey moment, um, a light brown, a dark brown. It just depends on the lighting. Or, like, when I cry for some reason, um, they get also, like, kind of grainy. So, it's weird. Not grainy, green. I said greeny. Green, okay. Anyways, a little toot. I love me a little toot. My eye color changes with mood, too, as well as lighting. Oh, with mood. Wow. Hmm. Love that. Um, how's therapy going? I have appointments where I don't have anything to talk about. And it's like so awkward. Oh my God, it's so awkward. Because I'm just like, okay. Um, because I'm in a good mood. And when I'm in a good mood, I can't really dig out the deep stuff. So I'm just like, yeah, I had blah, blah, blah for lunch. You know, like, I just can't figure it out. But the last appointment I had, oh, my God. I cried, like, almost the whole time. Um, no, I don't use BetterHelp. I have an actual therapist. I'm not saying they're not actual therapists, but I'm just saying, like, an actual real therapist. Um, yeah, I cried, like, a lot. So, it honestly just depends. And, like, sometimes can't stop talking. 
the whole time. And then other times I'm just like, <laughs> like it's so weird. Uh, I've thought about reading her my journal, my therapist, but I don't know if I'm that close to her yet. I don't know if I vibe like that, but I've thought about it because I feel like, where is my journal? Oh, it's under, oh my God. I thought I lost it. I don't want my girlfriend to read it. <laughs> um, oh my God, that scared me. Okay, it's under you guys, that freaked me out. I literally, you guys, I love journaling lately. Let me show you. This is bad angle. This is the journal that I've been using and I, I'm not gonna show you, but this is how much I've journaled. Like, I'm really proud of that. Like, that's a lot. Like, that's a lot of pages, in my opinion. I've, I, I've been journaling daily since June 18th and it's now September, so um, I feel like that's pretty awesome. Daily. I haven't skipped a single day. Like that's dedication for me. Um, so, okay. So this is for people who likes to journal. I, and who is like a perfectionist, but really like I'm not, but, oh, am I frozen? Oh no. Oh no. Wait, am I frozen right now? Okay, I'm good. Okay, so um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, I when I journal, what stopped me from journaling for the longest time is like having like perfectionists. Like I was always afraid to ruin a notebook or like how would I journal? How would I carry on the paragraphs? Like what type of format would I want? And I noticed the best way for me is bullet points. Like, I'll talk about something super deep. I'll have a bullet point. And I obviously, I date all of my entries. So I'll have a bullet point And it'll be something as stupid as, like, the weather. Like, and then the next paragraph could be, like, super deep about something, like, from my past. And then the next paragraph is, like, my favorite Starbucks drink. I don't know. You guys kind of get what I'm saying. Um, I noticed that that way of journaling makes it to where I'm so much more free and I'm not just like, I don't know, for some reason, like in the past journaling freaked me out because like, I felt like I had to do it. Like proud of the weirdest things. You know what, Nuke? I'm going to block you one day and I'm so freaking pumped for it, but I'm just not going to do it right now because I'm in a good mood. So that's that. Okay. I don't know. I just, I was talking about journaling, whatever. Um, should I read you guys like a journal moment? Oh my God. Let me go look. Hold on. Should I read you guys? <gasps> okay. Don't be looking. Don't be looking. Let's see what we have. <laughs> um, let me just flip to something random and see what we find. This stuff is so personal. Oh, okay, 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 okay. <laughs> this is actually so stupid. Okay, I put, am I falling in love with, I'm not gonna say uh, their name. Am I falling in love with blank? There's absolutely no way. And then I, I wrote repeatedly, I can't fall in love. I can't fall in love. I can't fall in love. <laughs> And then I fell in love. Like, I truly was not looking for this, you guys. Like, at all. I also write my weights down and, like, when I weigh myself, how it, like, makes me feel. Um, I write everything. Like, sometimes it'll be emotions I had through the day. Sometimes I'll write, like, dialogue that I had with someone. Um, sometimes I'll just write about the people in my life. Like what they're going through for me to remember. Um, cause I feel like that's important too. 
Um, yeah, that's a Hootenberry though. I can't fall in love. I can't fall in love. I can't fall in love. And look at what I did. I fell in love. So, <sighs> whoopsies. Oh, and since I do daily journaling, obviously I'm not home. Like, because I used to go to Eric and Ricky's a lot. So, um, on days where I'm like gone or whatever, um, nuke, who cares? I could be proud of whatever I want. Like, I could be proud of this eyelash if I wanted to. Okay. So, you invited strong oh, probably okay so yeah i don't take my journal with me anywhere that shit stays at home so when i'm out if i think of something if i'm in the car if i'm at a friend's house like it doesn't matter what it is i'll put it in my um phone and then when i get around my journal i'll write exactly what i put down in my phone so that's another way to do daily journaling and another thing I do that makes me feel more free with it is like some days there might be two bullet points, literally like three sentences. Other days there might be like 20 bullet points. So um, it just depends on the day or whatever. And I like the, the freedom. I like the freedom of the way I'm journaling if that makes sense. But it's also like structured in the sense of like, okay, bullet points. Okay, why am I, I am talking so much right now. <sighs> I don't know what it is. It has to be my whole, the whole dad thing. Like, I just, I feel like the minute I get off of here, I'm just gonna think about that. <sighs> I wonder if there's any manic Lynn. I've been taking my medicine. But it is a probability. I wonder if there's any updates on my dad. I'm going to call my brother real quick and I'm going to keep it on mute. Um, so let me know if I'm muted.
Am I muted? Am I muted? Am I muted? Okay. I <laughs> would be a detective and read a lips. I love that. Yeah, I'm okay. Um, my dad is still in the same position he was in. Um, I don't know. I'm worried. And my brother's having to take care of everything himself, and that makes me sad. I wish I was there for him. Um... Yeah, I just, I did not want to get off a live stream and I also knew that I wanted to call my brother to get an update and make sure he was fine. So that's why I did not end the live stream. You guys can call it what you want, but I'm at the point in this live stream that it's no longer like normal live stream. Like it's just me just like, hey, what's up? Like we're just chilling out. So Yeah. This is still a live stream. Sure is. And thankfully on live streams, I could do whatever I want. I can color, I can read a book, I can talk to you guys, I can sing, I can eat a McFlurry. Okay, I'm not going to, but you know what? I don't really like McFlurries. I'm just saying. I can do whatever I want. Maybe a little manic. <sighs> I don't know. It's just been a hard day. What time is it? 9.32. Tay, welcome to Stream Queens. Hello. Hello. But yeah. I don't know, you guys. I'm just really worried about my dad. <sighs> Spleen. Welcome to Stream Queens. Why can't I go there? Let's be realistic my weight Med yes I am medicated for my mania um, it doesn't happen like it used to so I think I'm just uh, um, I am bipolar nuke literally take medication for it that has changed my life if I was not bipolar then that medicine would not have helped me for the last few years actually couple years not few sorry um stop trying literally I've been seeing my psychiatrist for over two years now I think she knows more about me than you know so <sighs> just saying just saying um I don't know I feel like I don't know, I've just been so sad all day long and it's like the fact that um, I'm not crying right now feels really nice. So I think that's the reason why like I seem manic maybe. Maybe I'm just like really happy that I'm not crying. I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. But this is like me really, like every day. And um, I don't know, when I come on live stream, I just feel like I can't be myself. I'm afraid to be myself. Um, because of judgment and this and that. Stupid dumb couple, welcome to Stream Queens. And I just, I don't know. Yeah. Have I tried meditation? Mm -hmm. No, I have not. 
You guys don't have to like her. She has her moments that are questionable. I do. But can you be logical about what you pick apart at least? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That I would appreciate. Hi. You're beautiful too. What you mean? Is there a reason you were more comfortable in vlogs than lives? I think it's because in vlogs, no one's watching me until it's like literally uploaded. But in lives, it's like you guys are watching me right now. Almost 4,000 people, which is hard to believe. I feel like that's a glitch or something. Like, why would 4,000 people want to be watching me? Because we can't even call this a train wreck at this point because I'm just sitting here. I don't know. I just, I, I don't know. I think it's so weird that people watch me. I still can't get over it. It's like, really? Well, I don't understand. <laughs> and everyone watches me for different reasons. Like, I don't know, it's so weird. But I'm so grateful. How many members do I have? I don't know. Hmm. Is there a way to see that? There probably is. There probably is. Sorry, I'm super close to the thing. It's just I'm trying to read it. How much percentage of membership fees does YouTube take? Um, I'm actually going to Google that for you because I don't know. How much percentage of membership money does YouTube take? For the life of me, I could not figure out how to word that. Okay. Okay. So YouTube takes 30% and then obviously I pay 30% to taxes. So that's 60% is gone. So I get 40% of the $7.99. 40% of $7.99? Mm -mm. I did that wrong. I don't feel like doing math right now. So I get $3 per member and I'm very grateful for it very grateful for it for sure um fishing I love fishing I used to go fishing with my um dad oh yeah I did I can't imagine this world without my parents in it I really can't I just if you guys pray, please pray for my dad. If you guys, like, send out positive, like, thoughts and vibes and anything like that. Like, I really, really need it. Um, but my dad needs it more. All right. You know what? Oh, I'm about to do something that's going to feel so good. The nuke reactor... <laughs> is officially gone, is officially gone. I can't do it anymore. I'm sorry. He was making me feel like shit and I'm not, I'm just not doing it. You guys can hate him. I mean, you guys can hate me for me blocking him, but I couldn't do it. Like he was just so rude all the time. So, so I'm done with it. I'm done with it. I'm done with it. So that's that. <laughs> if people are, if, okay, I know you a hater if you're mad that I blocked someone that puts me in a bad headspace. I know you a hater then. Anyways, <whistles> you know, do you guys know how to do this? Wait, not it's your eyebrow. 
Do it, 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 do it. I don't know what that's about, but. Brooke, welcome to Stream Queens. Hi. I can't figure out how to be a member on iOS. You might have to go to, um, like, Safari and do it that way. I don't know. I learned that as a kid. Yes. Oh, my God. Uh, <laughs> what was that? Oh, yeah. Am I manic? No, there's no way. I'm good. I'm great. I'm fine. Maybe I'm just losing my mind today. Jesus. Do I 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 Can you touch your nose with your tongue? Yes. I can. Okay, someone said she put a link to join on her community tab. I have an iPhone and that's how I signed up. Okay, so go to my community tab. There should be a link. Should be a link. So, no, I will not free your man nuke. Not happening. Not happening. Oh my God, I'm feeling fidgety and I'm feeling, I don't know. Okay. Lick your elbow. No. Is this like, are we doing like a truth or dare? <gasps> Let's do truth or dare. But I'll only answer super chats. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just joking. You know, YouTube encourage you, encourages you to like ask for super chats. I feel really weird doing that. Write down different clothes and ex well, what just happened? Okay, write down different clothes and accessories and put them in a hat and make outfit around it since you have so many unique pieces. Oh, I love that idea. I like really love that idea. Um, how much would you have to make to make an OnlyFans worth it for you to make? Depends. You have to give me little Viv. Welcome to Stream Queens. You have to give me like the exact scenario like what type of stuff am i posting on only fans <sighs> yeah so you have to tell me that and then i'll then i'll tell you mm -mm, i'm not unblocking someone who makes me feel like doo-doo he makes me feel like doo-doo Who's Susan? I don't know who Susan is to have an opinion. 944. Wow. Go eat a banana. Uh -huh. I dare you to call one of your exes. Okay. All right. Let's do it. Oh, wait, I don't think I... Mm. Hold on a minute. I know you think about me when you get home. Okay. Wait. I was going to do Destiny, but I changed my mind. I'm gonna do Becky. <laughs> Sorry. I don't, I really don't. I, I just, I, I, not in it right now. Oh. Okay, hold on. Cause I started calling Destiny, I clicked off, and then she sent me hello with a bunch of question marks. Whatever, I'll just call her then. Hello. What? I got dared to FaceTime an ex. 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what the hell do you want? Because I tried to answer it the first time, we're going to go through. I know. We, like, never talk anymore, so it's like... Well, that's because you got your new boo thing. Don't, don't say her name or anything. I don't know her name. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Just don't. Okay. Yeah, I do. I do. I do. She, she's pretty great. Hi, Dana. I miss you guys. What the heck? All right. We're just not close anymore. What happened? You got a boo thing. <laughs> I don't think you understand. Wait, what do you mean? That's all you worry about. <laughs> oh, my God. If you guys met her, you would die. You would die. Okay. All right. It was you fun. Your day, so. I did complete it. I hope you have a good night. <laughs> All right. Bye, you guys. Oh my god, I'm dead. I think they were getting it in. Whoops. <laughs> did you guys hear her laugh? It was like a whistle. I can't do it. Okay. Call Becky. Okay. She didn't answer. I could try again. Think about me when you kiss her. Na, 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 na. <sighs> she might not answer me. Hello? Hello? I got dared to FaceTime an ex. Really? I got dared by a subscriber. Oh. I'm on... Um, I'm surprised that the Wi-Fi worked because uh, it wouldn't let me talk to my sister. Wait, what do you mean? Your, the Wi-Fi's not working? I think it's her Wi-Fi because I'm able to talk to you just fine. Mm. Yeah, I'm on live stream right now, so... Don't say anything crazy. Well, I mean, I'm not going to. I'm uh, probably going to go live on my own tomorrow. I am so pumped. What time are you going to go live? What time are you going live? Are you breaking up? Wait. Oh, you can't hear me? I was like, what? hello? Yeah, I didn't hear anything you just said. Oh, I said, what time are you going live? Oh, um, I don't know yet, but I'll give a heads up. Well, yeah, Def, tell me because I will be watching. I will be the first one to click. Will you be? I'll be the first to super chat. Wait, can I super chat? I don't know how that works. You need to figure that out. That's Okay, well, I'll send a chat. I'll be like, what's up? What's up? What are y'all doing? Um, they are showering. Mm. How's Ricky feeling? Ricky's fine. Mm hmm. Yeah. Love that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, that was funny. I've tried to. I've been on live since 7 p.m. That's almost three hours. I know. I even got up and walked in the kitchen and everything. Because, you know, couch bound life. Um, yeah. I don't know. I think it's because, like, what's going on with my dad? Like, it's helped, like, keeping my mind off of that. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, it's helped a lot. Um, oh, I blocked Nuke. Oh, wow, why? Because he's mean! What you mean? So annoying. Like, every I mean, yeah, but he was just, you know, I don't know. I was just so used to him, you know. He was just there. Yeah, but he liked you, so of course you're fine with it. I don't know. I didn't know if he liked me. What makes you think he liked me? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe he didn't.
We make weird faces on the FaceTime. We make weird faces on the FaceTime. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. I called Destiny before I called you. Oh, did she have like a... Fine, I think they were getting it in or something. Mm. I love a good getting in moment. Um, we are getting ready to watch the Peppermint Butler part of uh, The Distant Lands on HBO Max. No idea. What? From Adventure Time on HBO Max. Oh, I don't know what that is. Hmm. Um. Hmm. Love that. We're pretty much caught up with the new L word. We just have half of an episode to watch and we're caught up. I don't know. I feel like I'm not going to like it as much as I like the other series. Yeah. I get that. But... I, I still feel like I have to watch it because I'm like a part of their lives. I've been watching it from the jump. You know? You know? I kind of feel nauseous. I've only ate, the only thing I ate today, it was around, a lo okay, so I had, I had a smoothie, which I only drank half of it because it was so healthy. I couldn't withstand it. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, oh, God, I'm hungry. So I ordered Starbucks moment, and I got the turkey pesto panini, and it was so good. Starbucks moment. Starbucks moment. So um, that's all I've had today. So it's not, like, too bad, but I'm definitely feeling hungry right now. I had Zaxby's earlier. Totally random. It was just like Zaxby's is so yeah. random. Zaxby's just like, you know, nothing special about you. <laughs> I think I've but had Zaxby's just, once. I don't know. We were driving and we're like, okay, I mean, that that's there. Let's eat it. What did you get from there? Chicken tenders. Chicken tenders. I think. Love that. Chicken tenders, chicken fingers, whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Chickens don't even have fingers. Huh? <laughs> Chickens don't even have fingers. No, I think it's called chicken fingers because you eat the chicken with your fingers. Chicken fingers. Like chicken. You've completed the puzzle. Good job, Amberlynn. Thank you. Round of applause for me. She's the one percent that gets it. Woo. Wait, only 1% of... Are you being sarcastic? What do you mean? Wait, are you being sarcastic? No one knew yeah. that? I was just playing. Oh. Love that. I love that. You love everything. Yeah. 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 Yes, I love everything. And every moment is a moment. Every... It, we're, we're, we're living moments, literally. Yep. We're just walking around living moments. Pretty freaking much. Yeah. I mean, if you think about it, you're all you're constantly like zipping past your past into the future. Totes. By the way, people are saying they miss you. Oh, I miss them too. She misses y'all no, too. I was getting at the whole like you know the present. The present is both the past and the future, sort of. You know? The present is past, future, present. Well, yeah, because you just said that, but you said that in the past, like five seconds ago. So, so right okay. now, we're old, the oldest we've ever been, and the right in the second. Yeah, and now doesn't exist because that was five seconds ago. You heard That's it. Wild. Listen, there was a time in the past. No time doesn't exist. Listen. There was a time in the past where no one knew what they looked like. Yeah. I mean, no, wait. There's, like, water reflection. Man, I'm water. Like, the first time somebody's seen a mirror, they probably shit. So. Yes. Me and... Like, oh, God, what the fuck's that? 
Yeah, me and my girlfriend, you can't say her name. Um, we were, she said that. And my mom, at first I was like, what are you talking about? And then when it, when it clicked that people didn't have mirrors back then, I was like, <gasps> like my whole world just like, and then it made me started, I started to think deep and I was like, so since you didn't know what you looked like, when someone said you were beautiful, you believed it. So you didn't, you didn't have to like feel insecure because you didn't know what you look like. So you couldn't even tell yourself that you're ugly because you, people think you're beautiful. So you're like, oh shit, I'm beautiful. Amberlynn, <laughs> you're breaking out so bad that all I can hear you say is like, and because I'm dead. Literally, I, I heard like like three times, but you kept breaking in and out. <laughs> yeah, that's all I said. Was like like did Chantel give you an edible? No. <laughs> I wish it was legal here. You know. Yeah. But um. All right, I gotta. I gotta get you know, I love you. So you literally said I love you to me. Yeah. You can't be doing that. Yeah, you're my friend. Bye. Oh, okay. Love you too. She's never said that. That was really weird. Okay, I'm leaving. No, like we say love you, but it's like how she said it was weird. Oh. Okay. Um, she could say I love you, but it was just so random. Okay. All right, y'all. I think it's about that time. I think it is about that time. <sighs> This is the most wild live ever. Oh my God. Oh, Rosie, you're sick from the vaccine. Oh my God, message me on Instagram. Talk to me. Please talk to me. Oh, I'm glad you enjoyed this live stream for sure. Like, it's been, it's been a hootin'. It's been a hootin'. Oh yeah, you can snap me. I forgot that you snapped me. Oh my God. I have a streak going with two people. Maybe I should start a streak with you. I think I should. Okay, I'm gonna go now though. I have to go pee again. So that's super fun. I hope that you guys enjoyed this stream and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.